Well, I think there can be no doubt whatsoever that what we are looking at is an unprovoked assault. And if it contributed to the death of Mr. Tomlinson, it clearly opens a charge of manslaughter. What I find disturbing is, as well, when did we get into our police wearing balaclavas? Uh, I've been on very many policing exercises um, while I was mayor with senior officers. I never saw officers wearing balaclavas. Uh, the only thing you can think is that officers have put these on because they don't wish to be identified. And if, as we're now led to believe, this officer was in the territorial support group, we've had many complaints. They disproportionately um, who, as, who are they? Well, they're a, a small elite group that go around to tackle the most difficult situations. So they are often going to be involved in demonstrations, counter-terrorism work and so on. But they're, 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 I always worry that these elite groups end up with a much more paramilitary approach to policing, a much more proactive go in and sort it out than the traditional Bobby that's on the beat. Well, what's, what's concerning as well is that the police were very quick to say there had been no contact mm. between police officers and Mr Tomlinson. Well, I mean, they, as you go up the, the food chain, you're dependent on what people locally have told you. Clearly, the officers there had a, an interest in not telling the truth. And I'm very much reminded of the incident 30 years ago when Blair Peach on a demonstration was clubbed to death by a police officer. And we knew the five officers concerned, but the other four wouldn't identify the one that had actually committed the murder. And tonight, and they not got all away of these it. officers have come forward. And I, have to, I think that's it. We, the world's moved on in 30 years. We, I think we have to say, not only should this officer be suspended immediately, but officers that refuse to cooperate with this investigation can't continue to expect to police the streets of London. If you were the mayor, and, and you, you were watching this, the police in that lineup, mm. in the knowledge that some of them still haven't come forward mm. to say, I was there and I was involved, you know, you'd be we, demanding heads, wouldn't you? We, we, you don't, it doesn't work on that. You, you meet the commission, you make your concerns clear. And the commissioner knows, as, as we found with Ian Blair and Boris Johnson, the commissioner has to have the confidence of the mayor. But what the mayor needs to reflect is what Londoners need. Londoners need to be confident that their police are there to protect them, not to have a spasm of violence just because they've been in a difficult day. They're trained to deal with provocation in a way that the ordinary member of the public isn't. And we, 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 we rely on them to actually keep control. And this guy is clearly out of, either out of control in a spasm of rage, or more worryingly, perhaps just out to have a bit of violence. Well, do, do you have confidence tonight? Oh, knowing that there are... hey, Compared with where we were 20 years ago, the police force has been transformed. But there are, in, in a force of 35,000, there are going to be some young men a bit over, uh, over, with, over the testosterone limit, that look forward to an in, uh, a confrontation like this, big demonstration coming. I, one thing that worried me in the run-up to this, whereas in the past we tried to talk these things down, was as the demonstrators started saying, well, if the police want violence, they can have it, we had a senior officer making the mistake saying, well, we're up for that. That creates a mood that you don't want permeating down the ranks. So just to clarify, there, there can be no justification for that kind of baton strike on a man walking away from this the is, police in that scenario. This isn't you know, even if he might have said something, we don't yeah. know, he might have said something cheeky, no. that wouldn't be a... I mean, the, 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 the police should only use violence to stop violence. It has to be a, a measured response. That isn't a measured response. That's a man who clearly, from the way he's moving, is, is not terribly well, not sprightly. Um, and it was I mean, just completely casual, random violence on the part of the officer concerned. And I mean, now that more and more this tape, your tape, confirms and actually is a bit more explicit than what we saw um, in, in The Guardian um, earlier, I think that the Commission has got to move to suspend the officer concerned and any officers who won't cooperate with this. I mean, We've got to get the last old remnants of that canteen culture out the police force. We made huge strides, but there are little pockets, as in any organisation, where we've got a way to go. The former, the former mayor of London, Ken Livingston, uh, calling for the officer shown in uh, this new footage to be suspended immediately. And in the last minutes, the Independent Police Complaints Commission has just announced that that officer featured in the footage, striking Ian Tomlinson, has come forward.